Welcome to another episode of Dude with a Microscope. Today, we're gonna look in the scope and we're gonna see why, no matter how thirsty you may be, you should not guzzle down seawater. Check this out. These are the cells in a single leaf of a freshwater plant. They look a little bit like bricks because they have a tough cell wall, which gives them their shape and structure. Your body is made of cells too, but your cells don't have these tough cell walls like plants cells do. Plants also have these green blobs that are called chloroplasts. They're where that amazing photosynthesis process happens, where plants make food with solar energy. The chloroplasts are floating around in a watery fluid called cytoplasm. Now to understand what happens next, you have to know that freshwater organisms like this plant and you have cytoplasm with very little salt in it. Are you ready to see what happens when we expose this leaf to salt water? Check it out, they are shriveling up. They're shrinking down into tight little spheres. This might look interesting, but it's bad news for those cells. It happens in just a minute or two, but we're seeing it sped up even more. What is going on here? You can still see the cell walls and they're holding their shapes, but now you can also make out the cell membrane, which is this flexible sort of skin that a cell has. Cell membranes work to control what comes in like food and what goes out like waste products. But the cell membrane can't control the flow of water in or out. If something is pulling water out of the cells, the cell membrane can't stop it. And if something is pushing water into the cells, the cell membrane can't stop that either. In science class, we say that a cell membrane is semi-permeable. And this moving of water through the membrane is called osmosis. Water is attracted to salt a lot like iron is attracted to a magnet. So the salt outside of the cells has pulled the fresh water out of the cells, leaving them shrunken and shriveled and very sad. Now, like I said, your cells don't have cell walls, but they do have cell membranes. So guzzling a bunch of seawater would pull water out of your cells too. Yikes, you don't want that to happen. Now, if you are stranded at sea, there are ways to get fresh water from salt water. And you can mix small amounts of salt water in with whatever fresh water you have and be okay. But again, you don't wanna guzzle a whole bunch of salt water thinking that that's gonna make you feel less thirsty. It's gonna make you much more thirsty. All right, that's gonna do it for this episode of Dude with a Microscope. If there's stuff you wanna see in one of my microscopes, send me a comment and I will try and show it to you. See you next time.